Okay. We got two Vikings talkers um, that I've seen a lot about today. Uh, the in-house one, TJ Hawkinson. Uh, what's going on with him? He's one of the guys who, you know, we've, we've got a new contract coming up for him probably. Um, he's been out um, of a lot of uh, camp with you know, an, ear, an ear infection, ear thing, and now now uh, I guess some back stuff. Um, the conspiracy theory is, is this just, is he just kind of faking <laughs> things to not practice? Is this like a holdout without it being a holdout? Because um, he's trying to get a contract. The report that came out today is that you know, he wants to, quote, uh, reset the market for tight ends. Um, and I don't know exactly what that would mean money-wise, but... So now it's, you know, if, if that's true, and I don't know if it is true, because I think we heard the same thing about Daniel Hunter, um, that he wanted to reset the market, and that didn't come to pass. It could just be, it's you know, these things get out in the public, it's, neg it's negotiating through the public. Um... So again, I don't know what that would entail money-wise. Obviously, I hope that they work something out and extend Hawkinson and get him here. You know, get him in, get him here for for the long term because he's really fucking good. And I think I think you know, he's like the second most prolific uh, tight end last year from the point that he got here, other than uh, Kelsey. You know, he's he's a big time weapon, and you know, this team wherever this team goes is going to be led by this offense. So. Um, we need him, um, and I would sign him for sure. Now, I you're not gonna for you know you know mortgage the whole franchise to like give him some unbelievably lucrative contract, but you know I I would hate the I hate the idea that they would trade him, um, and I don't know if they would like if stuff broke down would they trade him right now I don't think I don't think that would even be the case maybe maybe they would trade him at the trade deadline we got him at the trade deadline maybe they would trade him at the trade deadline I don't think it's going to get to that and I hope it's not going to get to that I hope it's just you know one side wants one thing the other side wants the other thing and they'll work it out um but uh you know hopefully that works out with uh with Hawkinson um and the other <laughs> thing that was getting a lot of talk today uh, is outside the team because the Trey Lance rumors here we go uh, and he's been rumored as a possible trade uh, trade uh, target in the past with the Vikings but now supposedly he's been beaten out for QB2 in San Francisco it's going to be Brock Purdy and it's going to be Sam Darnold um, now that just on that just that tells you probably all you need to know about about Trey Lance because they you know over San Francisco they can turn quarterbacks into something because Brock Purdy's a 7th round pick from a year ago he's going to be their starting quarterback again and he was really good last year and if he hadn't gotten hurt in the NFC Championship game they might have gone to the Super Bowl um and you know, obviously, they had a lot of success with Garoppolo. What does that say that they that Trey Lance, who was you know, they traded up multiple picks. I think I think they traded multiple firsts maybe to get him. And he's had he got hurt, but he's been there a few years, and he can't even beat out a seventh round pick and a and a cast off you know first round draft pick bust from uh, the Jets. You know, what does that mean? Um, you know, is there anything left there? Is there any hope? I mean, he's young, obviously, but is there any hope whatsoever that this guy can actually be a quarterback? Like a, like a, a viable starting quarterback in this league? But, like, there's already talk that all well, the Vikings would be a team that would maybe go after him, that they had, had talks before. I wouldn't trade really anything for this guy. Um, 
other than like a like a like a sixth or a seventh round pick. Because for one thing, just what you've seen so far, what is there to indicate that he really can can be anything? Now he's probably got a better chance of being something than Jaron Hall does. I mean, I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's probably the case. Um, so I mean, I would I would have I'd rather have him than Jaron Hall. Is like your third QB, but what are you going to give up for a third QB? Like who you, who you want to develop? Um, and of course, he got a he was drafted, you know, top five in the draft, uh, top three maybe. Um, so he's not he's not even going to be cheap. Like his contract, you know, these rookie contracts they go up year after year. He's going to be getting paid. You know, if you if you trade for him. You're paying some good money for him. Uh, I think this year and next year. I looked it up. I forget the exact numbers, but you know, like you're paying you're, you're paying him certainly more than you're paying Nick Mullins. Um, and you've got all these other cap things like Hawkinson. Um, so I don't I don't even know why you would trade for him. Like, take your ch- I would I I would just take your chances if you really want this guy. Take your chances. That San Francisco's just gonna fucking cut him, and they might not cut him for the same reason because they, you know, they might not want to eat all that all that dead cap for the last couple years of his rookie deal. Um, but man, I, you, <laughs> it, it it would cost you. It would cost you in in cap space, and I don't like the idea of doing. It. If if you wait it out, you let you let the San Francisco just cut him, and, and maybe some other team would swoop in. And be willing to take on that money, but even if even if you do, even if that does happen, who cares? I, this is not Trey Lance would not be the quarterback of the future. At best, he might be a bridge quarterback if you, if you decide to move on from Kirk, and then you and then you do whatever after after the season. At best, he could be some sort of a bridge quarterback. But I, yes, he can't even be a QB two in San Francisco. He can't beat out Sam Darnold. So what does that tell you? But yeah, just I, I like the already you know proposed trades out there. Like oh, well, let's trade them. Uh, you know, picks and a player. Don't give them anything. I, I I'm a I'm a Quasi defender. I would rip the shit out of Quasi if he trades anything other than like really low draft picks, like a sixth or a seventh. Um. And certainly no players, none of that, for this guy, because the, the, the 49ers have no leverage on this. You know, anyone tra- anyone trading for Trey Lance is doing them a favor, so don't do them a favor. Wait it out. You know, if he gets cut, you know, if he gets cut, Peter, I think the final cuts are coming up uh, for teams. I think that's next week. Wait it out. If, if someone cuts him, hey. Go go scoop him up, and you can pay him whatever, and you can and you can put him in as your as your QB three or whatever, um, and you know, and go from there. Don't fucking trade anything for this guy, please. <laughs> but it's again, yeah, everyone's like, "Ooh, we got a tank. We always have to tank to get these top of the draft quarterbacks." A lot more of these guys end up being closer to like a Trey Lance or Sam Darnold for that matter than Patrick Mahomes so the tank Nazis won't learn this lesson because they never learn their lesson because they're stupid but so do some Quasi I know you're watching this I know you're a loyal viewer uh, please uh, work something out with T.G. Hawkinson and please do not trade for Trey Lance unless it is the lowest uh, trade possible with like uh, a 6th or 7th and uh, so if you're going to cook, cook responsibly.